now let me discuss the law of returns to scale uh, over here uh, let me first talk about these graphs oh, uh, I have made uh, uh, the three graphs in which I have taken the labor on the x-axis and I have taken the capital on the uh, y-axis in all the three cases now capital or labor on x-axis capital on y-axis labor on x-axis and capital on y-axis now uh, we know that law of returns to scale operates in the long run where quantity of output is going to be a function of only the variable factors where all the factors are going to be variable now uh, we also know about these ISO codes that it was the same level of the uh, same level of the output so uh, now let the, the, the this law of returns to scale has three uh, three uh, three parts the first one is uh, constant returns to scale what does a constant returns to scale which means that uh, when I employ uh, one additional unit of labor uh, the production will increase in the same proportion so um, it means that uh, the proportion increase in in output will be equal to proportion increase in factors of production now as I'm employing uh, as I'm moving from 1 to uh, 1 to 2 I'm employing uh, one additional unit of labor and one additional unit of capital I'm, 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 I'm get I'm increasing the production with the same level of with uh, with 10 units of the uh, with the 10 units because over here it is going to be 20 and similarly if I drop one more in defense curve over here it is going to be 30 because as I move from 2 to 3 mm. and move from 2 to 3 over here this will turn out to be 30 so which means that the proportion increase uh, in the uh, fact whatever I am employing uh, the output is going to increase in the same proportion suppose I employ two units of labor and capital I'm going to increase production by the two units this is what the law of constant returns to scale mean it means that whatever whatever increase the in the in the factors of production the similar result the similar increase will be in the output now the question arises that if I increase the capital and labor and um, there will be the increase in the efficiency also in such a scenario there will be an increasing returns to scale so the second part that we are going to talk about is what if there is going to be the uh, uh, there is going to be the efficiency of the factors of production in such a case uh, there will be the increasing returns of scale that is this case increasing returns to scale now in this case the uh, output increases in a larger proportion as compared to increase in factors of production that is kept in the labor now uh, as I move from let me drop them point zero one two three and four then one two three and four as I move from uh, zero to one my production is ten then as I move from one to two however we see the indifference curve is lower than this point it is in difference the isocon sorry the isocon is not touching this point it is not over here where I need to actually employ uh, one additional unit I need to employ one uh, less than one additional unit to get the 20 units 
of the output over here also I need to now employ less than the uh, one additional unit to get 30 units of the output so I need to employ lesser resources to get more output such a this is a case of the increasing returns to scale and it is possible because of the efficiency uh, as we increase the factors of production the efficiency of the factors of production increases and because of that the increasing returns to scale may emerge however there are the cases where the um, efficiency may decrease as well so this results in the case of decreasing decreasing returns to scale now what happens in this case in this case the proportion increase in output will be less less than proportion increase in uh, factors of production now uh, this is a scenario uh, where I have to uh, the when I in, in, uh, introduce some factors of production they are going to result in the lower uh, lower production say for example uh, I am uh, over here if you look over here that when I improve when I increase the uh, pr uh, output when I increase the factors of production uh, from uh, as I move from 1 to 2 I cannot increase my my production is not going to increase because I have to increase one more uh, some addition to the two factors of production say for example 2.5 over here uh, now at this level of the production the output is going to increase by the 10 10 uh, 10 units uh, now this is the additional amount uh, that I have to introduce so that the production is going to increase now uh, this is a typical scenario of the de decreasing returns of scale over here also if I see that I have to introduce more than uh, the th uh, one factor of production say for example somehow 3.5 so uh, in this case this additional amount that I am requiring uh, to produce additional uh, to produce 10 more units is because of the less efficiency of the factors of production and this scenario results in the decreasing returns to scale so in case of a returns to scale I may have three one is the increasing returns to scale decreasing returns to scale and the constant returns to scale in case of the constant returns to scale the output increases in the same proportion as compared to the factors of production in case of the increasing returns to scale output increases in a greater proportion as compared to the uh, factors of production while as in case of decreasing returns to scale output decreases uh, as I increase uh, output increases in the lesser proportion than the increase in the factors of uh, production.